Hi everyone, welcome to the Clots and Quick Start tutorial. I have a more detailed tutorial uploaded to YouTube channel, but it's uh, 5 hours long, so uh, it's obviously uh, not for everyone. Uh, you can check it out if you want to, you know, uh, get into the details. There's lots of uh, things going on under the hood, but uh, for the basics, uh, we'll make a short one. Uh, so, you can start here with the new game, uh, going on with the prelude campaign that will uh, send you to the start of the Spanish Civil War and that was like a training ground for the German art armed forces. Uh, so, hit play here, wait for the uh, scenario to load, once it's ready, uh, a continue will appear here. So, make sure to hit that one. And... Uh, also, you can either uh, play with uh, selecting the general you want, uh, but we won't uh, get into the details here. As said, uh, we cover the more detailed parts of the game later. So you can just, if you want a quick start, uh, hit random general, it will create uh, one for you. Uh, I suggest always reading the uh, briefings because, because there are some hints of what will happen, but it's up to you. Uh, so, uh, also, uh, this uh, screen just shows you uh, which uh, units will be available later, uh, also not important uh, now. Uh, the most important uh, part here is uh, here uh, the end turn button, so it's uh, located a bit off, off uh, the menu, so it's easy to miss. Also, you can access main menu uh, here and uh, settings here. Uh, what is important here is uh, the weather, because if the weather is bad uh, you won't be able to use planes, which is easy to forget, that's why I'm uh, uh, outlining it here. Also influence, that's basically uh, your money, and what's important here is that we're in deployed turn, you can't move any units, you can just uh, deploy them, undeploy them, uh, depending on uh, whether they are core uh, set on, on uh, the map uh, fixed. Uh, here you have a controls uh, part, uh, that part only works uh, when uh, a unit is selected. Uh, info panel will cover that once we start playing and uh, HQ panel uh, pretty important because you will open uh, different menus from here. We'll also get into the, this in this uh, quick start some of them. Uh, okay, so for uh, the starters, uh, let's just look at the deploy units. So you have here uh, one unit that you can deploy. Uh, here uh, you can again see uh, the money you have, a number of core slots that you can uh, deploy and a uh, number of uh, HQ slots that you can deploy. So uh, uh, core units are just German units uh, and they go from uh, scenarios to, to scenario with you. Uh, HQ units are left on the map once you finish it. Uh, this here is nationalist re regular, which means that it is uh, HQ unit, uh, which will not follow you to the next scenario, but a good thing is you can deploy it because you have uh, free HQ slots available. So uh, let's go ahead and put it here. Uh, close. Uh, you can of course buy new units, but you don't have uh, the slots available, so uh, we'll not get into this at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, end turn. Okay, uh, here you can see uh, status screen, uh, you can check uh, what the objectives are for this mission. Uh, you can see the uh, hex indexes here, for example, uh, 211. Uh, when you hover uh, here, you can see uh, which index you are. So 211 is this one. You can see in info panel uh, here, you will see that it's uh, 211. Okay, uh, basically uh, the goal of the game is to move your units, uh, attack uh, enemy and take the objectives. Uh, in this case, uh, you can see uh, two objectives here marked with a golden star. They are also uh, marked with the downward pointing arrows uh, here on the minimap. Uh, so basically you have uh, those two here, uh, you need to uh, either uh, help uh, Garnison in Toledo not getting overrun or uh, simply uh, taking it later and uh, also you have uh, Madrid uh, that you can take. Uh, but uh, what is important here is uh, that uh, you would uh, need to uh, 
carefully review the situation before uh, starting. So uh, this is just the first day of the coup, uh, and the whole country is uh, in turmoil. Uh, the uh, front lines are not visible. Uh, you have, you know, different towns uh, in di different positions in checkerboard pattern, and uh, this will be a long and bloody war because two sides are pretty much uh, balanced. Uh, so uh, you will not be able to win this scenario just by units here. Uh, you, uh, what you have is a very experienced. Uh, units uh, from uh, Africa that uh, in reality got transported via air transport so uh, this scenario is envisioned to show you how to use uh, extra transports to quickly transport uh, units among other things so uh, like I said uh, you need to uh, start uh, moving your units uh, you can uh, either move your units we are our transport ship uh, but you can also uh, do it uh, faster uh, we are air transport, but you only have two available. Uh, also, uh, the enemy is in possession of all the Spain's navy, and one is he seen here, so uh, moving uh, across the sea is probably not a good idea. We'll do it here just to show you how it's done. Uh, so we can start by uh, units need to be uh, next to an airfield or on the airfield to get loaded up so let's start by moving this unit here uh, we uh, have a cannon here uh, we want to uh, transport uh, that one uh, this one is light cannon so it can be transported by planes but heavier cannons uh, can't so uh, let's go load it to plane and uh, you can basically do uh, th uh, two things uh, you can uh, uh, go next to an air field or directly on airfield if you go directly it will land immediately so we have an additional cannon here uh, this unit uh, can also be uh, moved let's do that now but we of course can't uh, move uh, to the airfield but we can uh, wait for the another turn uh, this is uh, sort of to give um, enemy uh, fighters a chance to shoot you down uh, so basically uh, you play uh, uh, now and the next turn is AI. There are no uh, enemy planes here, but uh, just uh, uh, game mechanic to uh, show you that air transport is risky. Uh, also, we can move this unit here, but as I said, we only have two uh, air transport per turn. Uh, we will uh, load this unit on uh, transport. You can see that uh, if you are uh, uh, next to other transports, uh, other transports are available here. So you can uh, either move it by rail, uh, glider, uh, transport plane, or a ship. Uh, in this case, uh, we will uh, go with a ship, and we can also uh, load this one as well. Okay. Uh, now we could uh, do combat here, but uh, I'll uh, just leave it for now. Uh, what I also wanted to show you, uh, which uh, you will need uh, here, as mentioned, is that once you select units, uh, here uh, uh, options that you have will lighten up. Uh, also, uh, you can access menus from here. Uh, what is important to, uh, to start is manage units. Uh, note that this this is actually uh, two screens. One is for uh, purchasing units. Uh, you can filter uh, different uh, uh, types and classes here, uh, or uh, and uh, further here. Uh, no tanks here currently, but we have artil artillery. Uh, and you can uh, purchase them uh, which uh, buys core units or you can rent them which buys HQ units but they will not follow you to the next scenario. Deploy will open uh, the deploy screen and once you click on the unit uh, you can see unit statistics here and the cost. Uh, important uh, screen here is review unit. Uh, this reviews your current uh, units. You can uh, either review uh, undeploy units, uh, which is uh, what you have at the start of the next scenario. Remember that, uh, uh, because y you can access them only uh, by clicking undeploy, or you know deployed, or you can uh, select all. Uh, you can also do filtering here as well, uh, and you can see that you have a commander here with uh, traits and skills. Uh, okay, 
Uh, additional uh, thing that is important, as I mentioned, is deploy uh, menu. Uh, Personnel HQ help, we will not cover at this point, but as I said, uh, there are tutorials about it. Uh, you can uh, switch air and ground view uh, if uh, you need to, if there are uh, air and ground units on the same uh, hex, uh, so you know, to help you select which one, or you can simply click twice and it will also do the same. And a uh, very important thing uh, is this uh, supply button. Uh, it's uh, turned on uh, off uh, by default, but you occasionally need to consult it. So if you turn it, you will see uh, how the supply works. Uh, it spreads from supply sources. These are basically uh, uh, places where you get your uh, ammo and fuel. Uh, you know, it can be either. In this case, you know, we are not in Germany and we have German units, so you know, it gets transported by. Uh, uh, merchant ships uh, which land at ports, so uh, supply sources port. If we, for example, played some defensive uh, uh, map that defends Germany, then uh, supply sources would be German towns where, you know, uh, the uh, important stuff is produced. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a supply source here to supply units in Africa and supply source here uh, to supply uh, units in Spain. Uh, you can see that supply uh, flows indefinitely over ra railroads, but it gets uh, cut off by enemy units and simply by enemy towns so uh, it uh, you know uh, flows uh, through here uh, and you see that uh, we are uh, blocked here so uh, basically uh, your your units all have uh, 10 supply uh, starting this is this second number in the unit GI uh, you have um, uh, unit nationality, if unit uh, can uh, still attack, if unit can move, unit strength and uh, unit supply. Uh, so basically we all start with 10 supply, uh, supply gets uh, spent when uh, moving and shooting, uh, artillery and bombers uh, use a bit more, uh, it gets uh, regenerated uh, almost uh, each turn uh, to the fullest uh, up to a point, uh, so as long as you're on supplied hexes uh, you will be fine. Uh, how supply works? So it starts with uh, supply sources, it uh, spreads through uh, railroads and then um, uh, from each uh, point of the railroad it uh, goes uh, a bit uh, with truck transport. So in uh, this case you know uh, your last supply point is here uh, and uh, it can supply, you know, this this hex is here. Uh, also, in, in this case, uh, supply will flow uh, up to this point, and on this side, it will uh, follow the road. It goes much uh, further down the roads. Uh, also, uh, uh, supplied towns uh, s uh, spread supply uh, in more hexes. So actually, uh, uh, this supply here comes because you have a supply town and it spreads uh, further than uh, if supplies just starts from the railroads. This makes uh, towns uh, uh, vital to uh, you know uh, winning the map, map because you can't fr uh, progress further until you have cleared uh, your supply routes. So in, in this case as mentioned uh, you have a railroad that ends here. Uh, that's because of this unit here and this unit here. So uh, you need to uh, clear those units, which will clear the supply to he uh, through here. Also do the same for these units uh, and this one unit here. If you do all that, uh, then supplies, uh, supply will flow all the way uh, from here, uh, to through here, through here, and it, you, you will uh, have your units supplied uh, here. Uh, also, uh, I would like to uh, uh, just cover how to move uh, by rail. So light units can load anywhere. So this unit here can uh, load uh, on the rail transport. And you can see that we can now move. And uh, rail transport can uh, move really f uh, far away. So use it uh, whenever you can. Uh, however, it uh, does spend two turns to load and unload, so uh, it, it makes sense only on uh, uh, if you need to c uh, cover a lot of ground. 
uh, also it's important to know that sometimes it's useful to clear enemy units that could uh, cut your vital supply lines uh, but uh, that's uh, that's uh, let's say advanced uh, topic uh, uh, what other uh, thing I would like to cover is uh, simple combat how it works so basically you have two uh, types of damages you have a uh, direct uh, fire and damage and area fire and damage uh, area fire uh, is uh, let's say shooting blindly uh, and covering the whole area uh, which works best for uh, large units uh, for uh, but if you uh, eat uh, uh, if enemy is already damaged then uh, area uh, dam uh, fire will not be uh, that efficient uh, so uh, however a uh, good thing about area damage is that uh, it's usually a stand of damage so uh, you know uh, cannon can uh, fire at enemy units uh, in, in the next turn so let me just show you uh, how this works okay so we have a uh, lot of AI movement here you can see a cannon defending infantry so cannon will, will fire uh, whenever his unit that is uh, next to next to it is attacked which makes it a juicy target for the enemy AI Okay, uh, so uh, let's uh, now uh, c cover how, how we should all uh, uh, do handle this. So as I said, you can uh, move your cannon away and fire from the distance, it will cause damage. Uh, as you can see here, first number is uh, strength damage and the second number is scatter damage, uh, third number is dug in damage. So if uh, the unit is uh, uh, based on our hex for a few turns, it will slowly dug in and on the fourth turn be completely dug in, uh, it receives defense bonuses uh, that are best uh, cleared uh, with artillery and bomber attacks before uh, you uh, do uh, direct attacks that the unit can retaliate to. Uh, uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you is how to quickly uh, use planes. Uh, planes are based on airfields and uh, in this uh, particular scenario we only have uh, an, uh, one bomber uh, and they can be called by pressing a, a corresponding key so you can uh, press uh, hover over a hex where you want uh, the plane to attack and press fi uh, F for uh, fighters uh, T for tactical bombers and B for uh, level bombers in this case we only have one level bomber so we will press B and you can see that uh, plane is uh, based in Africa and you can see that it has quite a bit of uh, range, combat range where it can bomb units. Fighters have uh, shorter ranges, uh, tactical are in between the two. Uh, also if you will uh, want to uh, use this bomber for uh, support uh, in the uh, north uh, eastern part of the map, you will have to uh, move the bomber to uh, this airport. So just you know, click uh, this airport and it will f uh, fly there. Uh, in this case we want to soften up the unit before attacking it so we will uh, like I said uh, hover over the unit and press B it will call the bomber uh, uh, as uh, mentioned uh, uh, bombers uh, deal area damage which means that in this case it will uh, inflict one direct uh, uh, permanent damage to the unit and uh, three uh, temporary scatter damage uh, to the unit on average each combat will be uh, different and uh, it will receive n uh, no damage uh, because uh, unit uh, has no uh, anti-aircraft uh, guns Okay, it uh, caused a little bit more scatter, so uh, this unit now has only ten, uh, 9 uh, strength left, but also uh, it has 5 scatter, with me, which means that it will fire back as a unit of uh, that has a strength of 4. So we, this means that, uh, as you can see, we can uh, inflict heavy damage to the unit and uh, inflict uh, only moderate damage in return. That uh, concludes this tutorial. I will also uh, include one other tutorial that will explain how to win this map, but uh, this is uh, on, uh, the basics you need to uh, get going. Uh, don't forget, cannon uh, can only move one hex around, uh, so you need to uh, transport them by trains uh, to uh, 
for them to be available in the final battles. Uh, also, don't forget to use uh, your bombers. Uh, good luck with the uh, map.